everyone, my name is Luisa, I am a cosmetic chemist and today I want to show you how to measure the pH of a cream that you just made. Um, this is going to be very practical so I'm just going to go right into it and show it to you step by step. However, before we start, I want to briefly mention why it's important that you measure the pH uh, each time you make a cream. Okay, the first reason is that uh, most of the preservatives that are common in cosmetics are more effective within the pH ranges um, between, uh, uh, that are a, a little bit acid, meaning around 5 or 5.5. .5. The second reason why I need, really need you to uh, check the pH of uh, a cream is about uh, um, active ingredients. Um, active ingredients, uh, they are usually, a, you know, they are chemical compounds and they work the best when they are at the right uh, pH level. This is also very important when it comes to skin uh, penetration, meaning that depending on the pH, an active ingredient can uh, either penetrate the skin or do not penetrate the skin. So um, I can give you some examples, for example, if you're formulating with ascorbic acid, um, we know that ascorbic acid is only effective when the pH is very low and it's acid. So if you're uh, formulating with ascorbic acid, you want to keep the pH very, very low acid. Um, another example, um, if you're formulating with niacinamide, you, you want to keep the pH higher because we know that niacinamide um, works the best at pH levels around 6. Um, another reason that you need to adjust the pH of a cream um, or serum or any other formulation, even if liquid is that uh, um, the skin is covered by an um, acid uh, mantle and the pH of this mantle is uh, um, range, ranges from uh, 5 to 6 so when we formulate skincare products we want to make sure that we are uh, um, formulating them at uh, within their range right this doesn't mean that if we formulate at another pH, the skin is not able to rebalance the pH level itself. It's, of course, it's capable of. It's just we don't want to give it to, no additional work to do because there's no really no point. Unless we are talking about uh, um, exfoliants, acid exfoliants, those of course we need to, um, in order for them to work, the pH must be very, very low. But however, um, for regular moisturizers and cream, again, we don't want to give the skin too much work to do, so we want to uh, make sure that our cream pH is between 5 and 6. Considering that, uh, like I said, most preservatives uh, work with a um, slightly acid pH, we want to keep our formulation around 5.56, um, better if it's less than 6, um, but this 6 is still fine, as, for example, as I was uh, talking about uh, niacinamide. Okay, this is it for the introduction, so let me just show you practically how you can um, evaluate, calculate and even adjust the pH level of cream, okay? All right then, we are uh, ready to measure the pH of cream. I have my pH meter, I have uh, acids um, in case I need to adjust the pH and I also have bases of course to raise um, the pH. So to lower the pH you can use lactic acid or uh, citric acid. Uh, personally I prefer lactic acid because it also has some skin uh, benefits besides adjusting the pH. And uh, um, to raise the pH, conversely, I like to use sodium lactate, a 60% uh, solution, um, but you can also um, use uh, 3 ethanolamine. Okay, um, this pH uh, meter is for semi solid products. I love it because. Uh, um, 
it's just very accurate this is a very reliable brand uh, I'd rather use this compared to uh, pH strips so the way you want to measure the pH of a cream is that first of all you need to uh, dilute the cream uh, um, within some water so um, this is because the cream is a semi-solid product it's gonna be a kind of difficult um, measure the pH just by sticking the pH meter inside uh, the cream okay one common question that I receive is if I add water um, to the cream would that uh, affect the pH the answer is no because I'm diluting it um, with uh, distilled water that has a natural pH so when I'm gonna go measure I'm still gonna see the the pH of my cream okay so to dilute uh, what I do is just I wait let's see I wait too much already um, I wait uh, 9 um, grams of uh, water and uh, 1 gram of uh, my cream okay now is uh, 8.82 okay now is 9 then I take, like I said, uh, one gram of my cream. Okay. And I add this, uh, uh, this gram of cream to the water. Okay, here we go. Um, at this point, I just mix it a little bit. You can mix it by hand uh, or you can mix it with a magnetic stirrer or uh, I just mix it like this. And now I don't want to keep you here all day so I'm just gonna mix it real quick. But you see that uh, um, basically it's, uh, uh, it's mixed with the water, the cream, okay? So then I uh, just measure the pH basically. This uh, uh, cream has a pH of uh, um, 5.66, which I consider <laughs> fine. I'm sorry, I wanted to adjust it, but it's okay. Um, okay, but let's talk about in case you want to adjust uh, the pH. Let's see what you need to do. The cream that I just made um, had a perfect uh, pH level. I swear I didn't know. I'm sorry. But anyway, let's pretend that the pH was off and we need to adjust it. How do we do that? Well, let's say instead of 5.66, it was 4. Uh, 4, it means that we need to raise the pH to at least 5.5. So how do we do that? We just add 3-ethanolamine uh, or uh, any other basic um, compound uh, to the main uh, beaker. We just start by adding a little bit and we measure the pH. For example, we add a, zero, a few drops and then we measure the pH again, okay? The key point is that you need to start, you need to add um, slowly because if you do add, those are strong bases and strong acid, which means that if you add too much, they're gonna like raise or lower the pH out of sudden. So basically it's not gonna, never gonna end. So this is why it's very important that you do it drop by drop of course this is just uh, something that you do the first time because once you become uh, comfortable with uh, your formula and you know mm, I mean after you do this once you're just gonna know how much um, approximately how much um, product you need to add to adjust the pH so don't worry it's not that every time you gotta waste 30 minutes with trying different pH okay just the first time like I said um, if it's um, conversely if the pH uh, let's say was uh, 8 and we want to bring it down to 5.5 we can use uh, acids um, I know this is very intuitive, but I just want to make sure that uh, we are on the same page, so I'm still going to mention it. 
um, yeah, so acid, it could be citric acid, very inexpensive. It could be ascorbic acid, which is also an antioxidant. Um, as a general rule, um, I always recommend to add acids that also have some skin benefits. So you're, you're not just gonna uh, adjust the pH, but you're also improving your overall uh, formula. This is it uh, for today. I hope this video was uh, useful and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.